down And oh my soul so weary When troubles come And my heart burden be Then I am still And wait here in the silence Until you come and sit a while with me You raise me up So I can stand on mountains You raise me up To walk on stormy seas I am strong When I am on your shore a moment, it looks like just 11 minutes after 9, as we remember this terrible attack on our nation and the many people who lost their lives. Many of these men and women's co-workers that gave their lives, let us remember these families and pray for them now. Um, hi, I'm Laura, and i um, I just wanted to say thank you on behalf of all the teens from the youth group and everyone. Um, thank you for being brave and for being there to protect us when we need you. Gentlemen, ladies, thank you so much for being there when I need help. Thank you. Obey the government, for God is the one who has put them there. In, in there. there is no government anywhere except that God is placed. Those are my words for you tonight, right from God's word, that we should honor our policemen and our firemen 
and our government officials as well. God bless you all. Yeah. I mean, on behalf of Chief Christensen and the entire Bloomingdale Fire Department, we want to thank you for inviting us to take part in this remembrance. We truly are honored. Us both, fire and police, we're part of a larger group of local dedicated public servants. We're here to serve and protect you. That's our calling. That's what we do. In the book of Isaiah, it says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I'd like to close with a poem that was written a few years back. Let's hear it for our heroes. Let's hear it for our heroes, for firemen and cops, for those who live at risk each day that terror might be stopped. A wife who got a phone call from tower number two, who heard her husband say goodbye, and darling, I love you. Commander Dan Shanover, who grew up where we live, who died inside the Pentagon with so much more to give. A boyish man named Beamer and other daring souls who fought their captors in the sky as Todd called out, let's roll. A mayor known as Rudy who searched for those who died, who roamed Manhattan day and night and held her as she cried. A preacher we call Billy, now old with trembling hands, who stood in a cathedral to say, God understands. A nation of survivors united by a cause who preserves in search of peace in spite of fears or flaws. Let's hear it for our heroes, those living and those gone, who bravely did what duty asked that freedom might live on. <laughs>